Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about something called the event. Previously we talked about the random experiment and we talked about the sample set. And we said that the sample set is the set which contains all the possible outcomes that we may get out uh, from a random experiment. And we also mentioned that the random experiment is an experiment that we can uh, expect the outcomes, but we cannot detect which one of these outcomes will actually happen or occur. Here the event is a subset from the uh, sample set. So, on tossing a coin for uh, uh, two times successfully, our sample set will be like this. We may get two heads, or two tails, or in the first time hits, then tails in the second time, or vice versa. Tails in the first time and hits in the second time. So this is our sample set. A, B, and C are events. So let's see um, what does A equal, what does B equal, and what does C equal. A equals the event of occurring or of the occurrence of exactly one heads and one tails. Let's see um, how many elements that we have here that satisfy this condition. That there's only one heads and one tails. We got this one and that one. We conclude from this that A equals heads, tails, tails, heads. So this is the event of A. And as the elements of A are actually found inside the sample set, so A is a subset of S. We can say that A is a subset of S. Let's see B. B has the condition which is no heads, just tails. So this can be found in this one. We have no heads here and no other element. So B will equal only this element. Tails, tails. C. No heads, no tails. This is not found in the um, sample set. So simply C equals 5. All these are events that are related to the sample set of tossing a coin twice. So the event C, which is phi, is called an impossible event because it's impossible to happen, because its condition is not applied on the random experiment that we have here. And there is also something called a certain uh, event, and this event actually equals the sample set. Like when I say D, for example, is the event of occurring, uh, of the occurrence of two hits two tails Or just one of them. So here we have two heads, we have two tails, and we have just one of them in each of those. So actually D will equal S, which is the sample set. So this is simply the event. This event is, uh, the certain event is maybe also called a sure event. So C, which is equal phi, is an impossible event, and D, which is um, equal to S, equals a sure event. So that's it for today, and the next time we will know how to do operations on uh, events, and until then, I thank you for watching, and see you.